Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how to install the Eagle Sure Connect belting system, and helping us out from Fenner Drives is Tyson Gabler. Tyson, welcome, man, how are you? Hi, Tom, good, thanks. It is great to have you here. I'm excited, but we've already broken something here, so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because that's why you're here and SureConnect is a great alternative to welding and that's what we're talking about here, repairing conveyor lines, right? That's right, Tom. With SureConnect, you can be back up and running in about five minutes. It's a strong connection. You don't have to have any of the uncertainty that you have typically with welding. And it's a drop-in replacement for a uh, welded equivalent belt. Cool. So you're talking five versus 40 and the ease of doing this. You're saving a lot of time and money and, and, and bottom line, that, that's what it's all about. Right again, Tom, you don't have to buy any welding equipment. You don't have to have uh, skilled welders to, to do your repairs. Anybody on your maintenance staff can do a repair right away. Uh, so not only do you save maintenance costs, but the reduced installation time, it also saves you downtime, which downtime equals money. Yeah, okay, we can do this on our coffee break, okay? Right. All right, this is our coffee break time. I'm gonna install that, you're gonna help me? Sounds good. Okay, let's put on our PPE first because you always want to make sure that uh, you are safe on the job. Safety is always priority number one. Got your glasses on? Got it. Okay, where do we get started? All right, let's talk about what we need first. Okay. We have two sets of locking pliers. We've got a big set here. That's going to be used to clamp the belt to the frame so we can work on it. Okay. Then we've got this smaller one. That's going to be used to secure the connector as we thread it into the belt. Got you covered. We've got this uh, flat uh, wrench that comes with the kit. Okay. And then finally, we have the Sure Connect belting itself, and uh -huh. we have the Sure Connect connector. Okay, and that's really it's going to help put everything together. Yep. All right, where do you want to start? All right, well, first we have a belt here. This has been pre measured. Okay. Uh, you're going to size this belt up the same way you size up your typical welded belt. All right. So next, you're going to feed it through the conveyor path. Okay. Make sure you go around any obstructions, make sure you get around all the shafts, because we're going to make this thing endless. All right, I'm following the line of the other ones, so. Okay. Good. Should be good there. All, All right. right, next up. Now we need our first set of locking pliers and okay. we're gonna secure this belt to the frame. Make sure it's sticking as straight up as possible and about one inch off the belt, off the surface. One inch, all right. That seems pretty secure right there. That looks I, good. I'm feeling good about it. Great, that. next is when we take this other set of locking pliers and we, and we secure this connector. So the reason we need to do this is because it's a hinged connector. We need to make sure that both of those hinges are covered by the jaws of this uh, pair of pliers. And that will make the install a lot easier because it's gonna secure both ends. Okay, yeah, you can see that. They're tight right now. Okay, okay. all right, now I've got, right. wait, you know what, yeah, look. Doctor, thank you, sounds good. All right. All right, this is good. We're practicing for Gray's Anatomy, just, okay. Keep going, what's next? All right, next step, you're gonna take uh, the connector, you're gonna put one end of it into the fixed end of the belt that you just clamped. Okay. Now you're going to take your free hand, grab the other end, and you're going to apply it to the other end of the connector. Okay. And now we're ready to start threading. So this is reverse threads. As you twist it, it's going to pull both ends in. You're going to apply some pressure to the free hand. Okay. And as you twist, it should draw both ends of that belt together. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay. And now you, you keep going with that set of pliers until the belt is pulled in all the way up against the tool. Okay, that's about it for this clamp. Okay, so you take that pair of pliers off. Okay. That's where this flat wrench comes in that comes with the kit. So the idea here is you're going to finish the job. You're going to completely close that gap okay. with this flat tool. All right. And once the belt is completely pulled tight against that tool, you can pull that out. Okay, that's, that's in there. I think we're good to go. Okay, so that belt is connected. The All only right. thing left to do now is unclamp it and roll it onto the conveyor. That's it? Installed. We're done? Yeah! That's about two and a half, maybe three minutes. This is even easier than five. We're gonna save so much more money. We actually now have time to go to the bathroom after our coffee break. That's some good stuff. Good stuff. Tyson, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. That thank was you. absolutely awesome. Tyson Gabler, he is with Fenner Drives and that was the Eagle Shore Connect. And I don't know, if I can do it, I know you can do it. Good stuff right there. But if you have any questions, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. And then you know what you can also do is go to mihowto.com to see other videos with cool demonstrations just like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Clark, and I'm your host today. Actually, I'm your host for the other ones, too.